Hello and welcome to load balancing on Node.js application. In this video, we will load balance our Node.js application to all the processes available in the system using PM to cluster mode and Nginx. So it's called Nginx. PM2 is a process manager for production Node.js application. It helps us to keep our Node.js application online for 24-7. We can also monitor our application performance using PM2 Monit. And the next is a web server, which can also be used as a reverse proxy, load balancing, web caching, and more. Let's get started by installing the required tool. We will need PM2. You can install PM2 using sudo npm install dash pm2. We need to install it globally. So, also if we can install nginx with sudo spcl okay sudo apt dash get install nginx okay have already installed so um, to that again let's check our code i have a simple node.js application that will re return a page and request it to slash it get a dynamic value call instance um, if it will get to zero if this environment variable does not like this i'll talk about this later so the structure of this page is hello and the value of the instance okay in our production we'll basically start our application using pm2 so let's do that pm2 start index.js Okay, this will start our application. Uh, it will keep the application running. If any crashes, this will restart our application. So, in this, that will keep our application online. So, we can check. We can check our logs using PM to log. Let's check uh, the server at 4000. 4, okay, our application should be running on 4000. 4, but for our production, we may not expose our application port for thousand like that. We will give some domain name and any request to that page will be served in sort of the content in this port. So I'll try using this load balance that node domain. Uh, this does not exist. First, I created this file on the etc slash host. So this will act just as a domain that you have pointed to your server. Okay, now let's configure our Node.js. Okay, let's configure our Nginx. CD slash etc slash Nginx slash config. Any dot com file inside the config will be imported in the nginx.conf file so we will work here i have a prepared two configuration file npm 2 load let's first try this this will load our first application i uh, will review that too sudo so let's first Create a PM2 load.com file. Now, what this application will do is the server name load balance. No, any request on this domain will be reverse proxy and proxy pass to this local host. So, let's restart our Nginx. Okay. Uh, if we try to load this page, this will simply display the content in here. Okay. Our uh, uh, this application is running in one single core only, but the, uh, uh, my PC is has four cores. So let's load balance the request to 
all the codes available so let's run this application in the cluster mode first let's delete this delete zero to start the application in the cluster mode you have to start the name of the path and dash i i means the number of instances we want to run max max will get the number of the core or cpu available in your system we also you can give a number like one or two something like that let's keep and max and let's keep the application name let's keep the name of load okay so the application will run on the cluster mode so PM2 will automatically load balance any request coming to the request to different instances in the system. So 0 to 1 like that. So PM2 will basically load balance uh, the request to different instances of the page. Now let's try load balancing our application with Nginx. To load balance our application with Nginx, we need different. We need to run our application in the different ports, like 4000, like 4000, 4001, 4002, and 4003 in our case. So let's talk about this process. That env dot node app instance environment variable. This node app instance environmental variable is created by PM2 when running the application on the cluster mode. So this environment variable will be set to the instance the application is running so for the inst for first instance it will be zero for next it will be one two and so on okay so we can use that value to run our application on different so any request first request will be on 4001 the second a also will be on 4000, 0, 4000, second in 4001, 4002, and so on. Also, that's all. Okay, let's set that file and run npm. Okay, pm2, pm2, pm2 restart load. Okay, so our application is running a different port now. 4001, 4002, and 4003. So whenever, what our configuration to this domain is to serve on port 4000. So no load balancing of this. It is it will always serve the instance with defined on port 4000. So let's change that. As I told already told, I have created the configuration file already. Let's first set this file as pm2.z. So anything that's not dot conf will not be imported in the nginx.conf file. So we can save our configuration, something like that. Okay, uh, for our nginx load balancing, we define server uh, of the stream called backend, and yeah, it has the four server 4001, 4002, and 4003, 4000, 4001, 4003. So, whenever a request is coming on this domain, it will proxy pass to the backend. So, backend, backend will handle the request to on which server to send the request there are different load balancing methods the default one is round robin so first request will be given to this one second to the second third to third and fourth to fourth other other load balancing method are like round robin list connected and ips the list connected will send the request to the server that has list connection and ips will send the request to the Passing the IP, so whenever us 
when a person visit the page the next request from the same client will always be redirected to the same server let's check for if any syntax error now we start our nginx okay now if we check our application here this will load balance application to different server one best thing about load balance with nginx is that even if a server is down let's close the server pool new to stop to now this page is stop so this and and the next will just skip that server this close three as well so, zero and zero and zero and two. so if we restart restart the two this will now start to get the request so okay so and the next is smart enough to figure out if any instance is down it won't find the request so using this method we can say set up our application we start our application using with the zero downtime or something like that pm2 and now we yes restart load will first restart the server acting subsequently so any request will always be handled okay thank you this was for today have a good day